So, why read? This is a really, really pivotal question, and especially, um, you know, one that impacts me as an author. Uh, but from this, I'm not going to go into, you can find 5 million articles on there about why reading's great for you in general, but I'm talking about as an author, as someone who writes, why it's important to keep reading and constantly be reading books while you're writing new ones. And I'm not talking about your own work either. I mean, you do plenty of reading of your own work, but you should be reading others. It is so, so important to not only, you know, whether you read in your genre, outside of your genre, um, but number one, I think it's really important to read some modern stuff. You know, you can be inspired by anything. I mean, you can be inspired by friggin' shoe lint. I don't, you know, whatever. But it's really, really integral to stay, you know, current in the genre you're writing in. It's really integral to just get the feedback of reading and what it does for you. So, for example, you know, if you're writing in the fantasy genre, if you were, if the only thing you've ever read over and over and over is Lord of the Rings. It's like a really suggestive motion there. Probably shouldn't do that anymore. Anyway, if the only thing you're reading is Lord of the Rings and that's it and that's all, the only thing you're going to produce is probably a cookie cutter copy of that. You know, it's very important in finding your own voice and just developing as a writer to read different styles, read different books, read stuff that's modern and current because then you'll, you know, without having to do the research, you'll just know how things have changed. It, you know, just imprints on you. Um, like a creepy amoeba thing. Like, for example, back to the Lord of the Rings thing. If you look at modern day fantasy and how that's changed, there, don't worry, like, you still have the big fantasy glob monsters and worlds of thousands and thousands of pages long and blah, blah, blah. But keep that in mind. I love the fantasy genre. But regardless, you know, there's been a definite shift, at least, in the way things are being written. Yes, details are important, but a lot of the pros that, the dry pros that used to be acceptable, you know, way, way back in the day, um, a lot of the in-depth descriptions of a shoe, really on shoes, or of, you know, a single person or one thing, you know, that has to be integrated a lot more quickly with action now and with, you know, movement, with moving the story along because TV and movies have so dominated our culture and people's attention spans are shorter. You have a limited time to grasp and like grab people. And if you're sitting there, you know, talking about the shiniest shoe in all the land, they're going to get bored and they're going to stop listening. They're going to stop reading. So what I've noticed too, just from reading different genres, is a lot of times it will impact and maybe inspire aspects of the genre I write in. I'm primarily paranormal romance, though I do steampunk adventure as well. But, you know, I currently, you know, was recently reading, I've read mystery, I've read thrillers, I've read, you know, the deep thought books and things like that, although they're really not my favorite. I'm more of a genre girl. I've read contemporary romance. I've read a lot of paranormal romance because I enjoy it. I've read a lot of urban fantasy. I've read the fantasy glob monsters and I've read some sci-fi in there too. I think each of the genres and all those different books give you better perspective on what you're writing and might just kind of probe your brain for what you want to write and what you, and you know, maybe the genre that you're writing right now isn't going to be the one that's your forever genre. It might not be the one that you're ultimately meant to be writing. So unless you constantly are reading and exploring that, you're never going to find that out. And that is why I always recommend, you know, even, and I know the number one thing is, I have no time, I have no time. Take five seconds. It is, you can get through a couple pages a day or a couple pages every couple of days. You know, 
it's as simple for me at least sometimes I get my writing in when I'm waiting for the doctor's appointment. I bring my Kindle with me. If I'm waiting in the car for something, if I get to work early, like simple little things like that where you're talking about like a couple minutes here and there, but you get through books. They may take some time, but you'll get through them and ultimately it will make you a better writer for it. All right, well that's my PSA for the day. Thanks guys.